You have proof, huh? Right here. Check it out. A map of Europe. This is your proof. Now look at the look at the dots. I know. You connect them, they make Griffin's head. There are red and blue dots next to various cities all throughout Europe, okay? Milan. <clears throat> Lucas is going to take me there. Well, that's swell. Griffin performed there, so there's a red dot. Why is there a blue dot? That signifies a major art theft. Paris, he performs red dot, another major art theft, blue dot. Madrid, he performs art theft. The same thing happened in London, Amsterdam, but Griffin Rome. is ripping off art in between acts of Swan Lake, is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Incredible. Every date coincides. I mean, I, I researched everything. Do you want to know what I think? It's facts, Frankie, Ir irrefutable facts. I think this is the most pathetic attempt to nail somebody that I have ever seen. Oh, come on, Frankie. You're too sharp to ignore something like this. All you're using is the most flimsy of circumstantial evidence. You just won't see the truth, will you? Uh, it's obvious what you're doing. Utterly transparent. And what am I doing? You are trying to get between me and Griffin because I wouldn't buy your line. We are talking about a dangerous criminal here. Oh, if I were going out with a bank teller, you'd tell me he was responsible for the SNL crisis. My interest is strictly professional. You're the one who's making it personal. No, you don't, Cass. You don't turn this on me. Hey, I don't care if I never see you again. Fine. But I still have enough residual feeling for you not to want you involved with some sociopath. All you want is for us to get back together again. You and me? Are you saying that you and me are going to get back together again? It'll never happen, so don't worry about it. Oh, forget it. I'm not worried about it. Don't, don't well, worry. Well, well, neither am I. <laughs> talking to you is like... It's like... It's like talking to you. Goodbye, Cass. If you want to go out with a criminal, that's fine with me. So be it. So be it is right. I'm telling you, Frank, you, for someone with a genius IQ, I, you, you can really be dumb sometimes. <laughs> I was just on my way to the hospital. Oh, I know. I called there first. And Hilda told me you were down here. I don't want to keep you. No, no. I have some time. Okay. I needed to talk to you about what happened the other night. All right. I, I go first, okay? Jamie. No, no, no. Seriously. I, I, started to, I started to call you at least a dozen times, you know, and I, I'm sorry about what happened. Hey, I'm not angry. You're not? No. I'm just, uh, I'm confused. Oh, me, me, me too. I am too. I think I was trying to um, question your relationship with Derek because a part of me still thinks that you and me... I know. I, I know. Believe me, I understand. Sometimes I think the same thing. You do, huh? Why do you think I'm so confused? But it wouldn't work. No. No, I guess it wouldn't. Pro no, it definitely I mean, not. even if we both felt the same way, I, I, I need to have a clear head. And right now, I... Right. Oh, you're, you're getting over a bad marriage. I more than understand. You and I never did have great time. I mean... Think someday we might? Stranger things have happened. Listen, there's something else I need to tell you since you're here. I, um... I'm going to be taking a short leave of absence from the hospital. You are? Yeah, I'm going to Europe. I'm going to visit Russ and do some thinking. I think that would be good for you. Yeah, well, I, I hope so. And I wanted you to know that. So what about Stephen? Well, I'll make arrangements with Vicky, of course, you know, and when he's here, he'll have the family. This must be pretty important if you're leaving him. Well, I'm not going to be gone in more than a few weeks. Hey, what if I stopped by and, and visited him? Would that be okay? That would be wonderful. Great. <laughs> so what are you going <laughs> to do in Europe? <laughs> well, I'm going to, you know, I'll probably help Russ in his clinic and... Meet a few European girls oh. and relax. And maybe do a little skiing. Yeah, a little bit of that, too. <laughs> uh, but mainly, I'm just going there to sort my head out, you know. Well, I think you're doing the right thing. I hope you are, too. What do you mean? Well, I, I wondered. Well, if you and Derek uh, really... They belong together, I know. It's just that you seem so tentative sometimes, Stace. Sometimes I am. Now, I know that I need to get away and, and put things in perspective for myself. Maybe you do, too. May I come in? I didn't know you were back in town. Just for the day. 
What, to see family and friends? I've had a number of sleepless nights worrying about what I've done to you. Well, I've had a few of those myself. I'm sure you have. And I'm responsible. I can't deny that, Rachel. I never should have turned to Mitch. It was just so awful losing Mac. You've said all of this before. It's over, Felicia. Mitch and I are nothing but friends. Gee, I wish I could understand why it couldn't have been like that in the first place. I wish it had never happened. But I guess wishing doesn't get you anywhere. Rachel. Maybe it does. I don't know, maybe it does. And I wish with all my heart you understood how much this friendship means to me. And how sorry I am I hurt you. I want you to know that I've done a lot of thinking, too. Sleepless nights can do that for you. Losing Mac, I... I know what that did to you. I'll never be the same. I'll never love anybody as much as I loved him. Nobody knows that better than I. I know that. I miss him. I miss him a lot, and the tragedy is I never had a chance to talk to you about it. I miss you. I guess the question is, can we ever trust each other again? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach the uh, American Association of Antique Dealers. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, interested in some information on one of your members, Ken Jordan. It would be in Park Ridge. The store is the Odyssey. Yeah, could you, um, could you just tell me how long he's been a member? I see. Okay, um, all right, thank you. Okay, Ken Jordan. You check out. There's a connection between you and Mac. And I'm not so sure it's a positive one. I, I don't want it too narrow. Oh, we'll only go as far as you want with that. Now, um, here are some other possibilities. Wait, well, oh, ooh, that one's perfect. All right, I'll make a print out of that one. I can't believe Any it. Any others? No, I, I can't believe it. I'm picking out this nose as if it, it was a dress in a catalog. <laughs> I've scheduled you for surgery tomorrow. Is that too soon? Sooner the better. And you'll need to be admitted this afternoon. Oh. Well, I guess I better get going then. Oh, Josie, before you do, I'd just like to talk to you. Can you sit for just a minute? Okay. Josie, I would feel irresponsible as a doctor if I didn't give you my honest opinion about your decision. What do you mean? Well, you're obviously a very intelligent, mature young woman, and it is your decision, ultimately. Then what, what's the problem? You're beautiful. Except for my nose. No, Josie, you have a good nose. It suits your face. If you were my daughter, I wouldn't let you touch it. Well, I'm a model, Dr. Ryder. I need to have perfect features. Perfect? What's perfect? Does being a model mean you have to have a chiseled little upturned nose or a certain color eyes? Dr. Ryder, please. I just want you to think about it some more, Josie. I want you to understand that you don't have to look like everyone else to be beautiful. And you are certainly very beautiful, just as you are. Well, I, I appreciate all the compliments, Dr. Ryder, but... I've made up my mind. Fine. I understand. Good. Now, if I could, um, have the computer printout, I want to show my boss. Well, of course. Great. I hope your boss isn't pressuring you into this. No. Something I really want. And I can't wait to get it. Hi. Uh, what are you doing out here in the pony? 
please. Well, I love the countryside and the smell of farms. Oh, well, you love the barn. <laughs> so, as it turns out, I was out driving and uh, reviving myself, and I just took a chance that you would be here at your aunt's, and I was right. Well, I'm glad. Come on in. It's a beautiful day outside. It's crystal clear. Uh, would you like some tea or something, or, or do you have to get back to rehearsal? No, I always have time for you. Oh, well, would tea be okay? I have this incredible herbal. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, I'll be right back. should never be muddied with milk or sugar. Oh, finally, someone who understands about tea. <laughs> you know, there are Indian yogis who feel that certain teas have mystical qualities. Oh, well, I, uh, I have no doubt about that. <sighs> Here we are. Right. How is it? <clears throat> you are a woman of many talents, Frankie Frank. <clears throat> oh, well, thank you. But I hope that does not include an extensive social calendar. I beg your pardon? Miss Frame, I would be honored if you would attend the gala with me. Me? Aren't you in it? Aren't you performing or something? Yes, but after the performance, there's going to be an incredible party. Oh. Fine. Uh, I'd love to. It sounds terrific. Sounds like it'll be fun. Yes. It will be a night to be remembered. Anyway, I must go. Oh, so soon. Well, you were right. I am swamped, and I must get back. I will call you about Gala. Fine. Good. Great. Ciao, Frankie. Yeah, right. Ciao. It wasn't intentional. That doesn't really matter, though, does it? No, but it never got out of control. Rachel, my marriage almost ended. It didn't, though, because none of us would have let that happen. Boy, I really want to believe that. In fact, I need to believe that. Well, look, we're, we're sitting here on a couch talking about it. At least that means there's some amount of trust left. I mean, I was so hurt by this. I just, I can't make that stop just because I want to. I'm not asking you to. I guess all I'm saying is, can we just get on? Move on. Rachel? Hi, Mitch. Rachel was in town for the day, so she stopped by. I really didn't mean to stay this long. You don't have to leave yet. Would you like to stay for lunch? No, it's okay. I really should get going. Well, I'm... I'm glad you stopped by. So am I. So am I. Well, I guess I'll see you both at the gala. Rachel, would you, would you like to go to the gala with us? That was a very nice offer. I can't. Well, maybe we could have dinner before and talk. It's all right. I've got plans. Bye-bye. Hi. Sorry I took so long. No problem. You're not going to believe what I'm going to look like. Just where do you see this computer printout? No. Oh, but it's fascinating Josie, the way they do this. put the printout back. I'm not looking at it. Why are you being so negative about this? Because I love you the way you are. Well, that's very sweet, Matthew, but I really wish you'd just lighten up. Lighten up? It's no big deal. Surgery's no big deal? It's just my nose. Just your nose? Oh, I, I guess I should be grateful you're not getting a full facelift or having your body pumped full of silicone. I would never do that. Oh, just a little nose job, like trimming your hair, small potatoes, right? <sighs> At least I'm not pregnant. Oh, that's a brilliant argument. Great point, Josie. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Because it doesn't. I suppose you'd just love the idea, wouldn't you? What? 
You hate my career. You love for me to just have to go to Lucas and tell him oh. I couldn't model anymore because I was pregnant.